Hi guys and welcome to Maldives. I'm here at the Maldives International Airport. All set to take my domestic flight to Kudu Airport. And uh, this flight is going to be one hour. Uh, thereafter a speedboat of 30 minutes, uh, which will take me to the Park Hyatt Maldives Hadaha. So I arrived this morning from Abu Dhabi. It was a nice flight, uh, four hours, 15 minutes. And then uh, while I was waiting for my domestic flight, I had to wait at the lounge. A uh, pretty nice lounge uh, where you have some uh, place to relax and a nice buffet breakfast. And uh, well, after that, here I am now on the tarmac, all set to take this domestic scenic flight uh, to my resort, the Park Hyatt Maldives Hadaha. I'll be staying here for four nights, two nights in the beach pool villa and two nights in the overwater villa. So I hope you enjoy this tour with me. Hello. So we are now ready for takeoff on this Wana Scenic flight from Mali Velana International Airport to Kodo Airport. So after that nice scenic flight, uh, we are here at uh, Kudu Airport and now the next uh, is the 30 minute speedboat off to the Park Hyatt Maldives Hadaha. Yes. Hello. Thank you. So on to our buggy car now, just a short one minute ride to the speedboat. Hello Nick. Hi, yes, how are nice you? Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Oh, welcome. How are you? Okay. This is the reception at the resort. And here you have a business room with the possibility of having business meetings. And this can be privatized by closing the doors on either sides, giving total privacy for the meeting. So finally here I am at the Park Hyatt Maldives Hadaha, uh, a luxury barefoot hideaway uh, perfectly set on this tropical island. 
So let me take you around to the villa and uh, show you around. This is going to be my stay for the next two nights. It's a beach villa with pool. So guys, as you see, this villa is very spacious and the ambience around with the greenery and the lush green trees, it's, it's very, very private. Uh, the private pool out here and then straight access to the beach, which is just around 20 meters uh, from the pool area. So here you have sunbeds, which you can pull it up onto the beach as well over here. And it just cannot get better with the beach access just across the villa. Good morning, a sunny morning here in Maldives and it's time for breakfast. Today is going to be an exciting day as I'll be doing a nature walk with one of the marine biologists as well as the snorkeling here in the house reef. So we are now on the way to the dining room which is the main restaurant for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And this is Natalia. So this is the dining room which is the all day dining restaurant serving breakfast, lunch and dinner. So you have the option of also sitting outdoors and having a breakfast just across the pool area and overlooking the ocean.
So today has been a little bit windy compared to the other days and you see the waves a little bit stronger today. As you know, Maldives is mostly tropical weather. It's mostly on the warmer side, uh, between 28 and 30 degrees uh, most of the time of the year. The good thing about this island is it's very much covered with so much of vegetation as you see around and in the background. Uh, you have coconut trees, big trees, so there's a lot of canopy. So you can just walk around the island. The entire island walk is not more than around 15 minutes. And this canopy keeps you sort of cool as you walk along and you don't really feel the heat. Good morning, Rebecca. How are you good, all right. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So we are all set for a nature walk. Yeah. Okay, so this is the nature walk. Uh, for this walk, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the native flora and fauna around the island. Uh, so we're starting here on the beach, so I can show you the sand and how it moves around the island. So here at the moment, you can see there's a lot of exposed rock and not a lot of sand here. Um, but in a few months time, uh, the, the currents are actually going to change and sand is going to start building up over here and uh, it'll be like a long slope out into the ocean. Um, and the sand is very dynamic around the island and we like to help it to move around as naturally as possible. So that's why all of our jetties and overwater villas are built on pillars to allow the water movement and the sand to move around uh, as is in nature. Okay? Um, but this sand is actually produced by the parrotfish that you'll see when you're snorkeling in the ocean. Mm. Um, parrotfish have a very strong jaw, a bit like the beak of a parrot, um, and they can bite off chunks of coral which they then digest. Um, and all of the calcium carbonate skeleton that they don't swallow gets crushed up inside their stomachs and passed out in the form of the white sand of Maldives. Uh, so this is really lovely to think about when you're walking around on the beach, uh, but it's thanks to these fish that we have islands at all in the Maldives or Perhaps there would still be islands, but maybe made up of a totally different composition, like a rocky pebble beach or something like that. Okay? Right. Um, so I just want to introduce you to this plant here. Uh, this is called a sea lettuce. Um, and this one is one of the first plants to grow on a newly forming island. Um, so they're very tolerant to drought and salt spray and salinity. Um, here are some of the berries. Uh, so Maldivian people would use these uh, kind of like eye drops if they'd just been swimming and they wanted to wash out their eyes. They just squeeze a few drops into each mm -hmm. eye like that. Okay, and that will wash them out. On here, this is called a screw pine tree or a pandanus tree. Okay, uh, with this one, it has aerial roots which start growing above the ground and they grow down like supportive legs uh, to keep the tree propped up in shifting sandy conditions such as the. Draw your attention to this one uh, with the heart-shaped leaves here. This is a beach hibiscus tree um, and every day it will grow new flowers. Uh, the flowers are like a neon yellow when they first open and by the afternoon if it's been a very sunny day they'll fall to the ground and they will have turned like a dark orange to red color. Okay. Um, but if it's been a very cloudy day and not much sunshine, they stay yellow. So you can sort of tell what the weather's been doing by the ones you see on the ground. Okay, so the flower from the beach hibiscus. It's very pretty. <laughs> so he's called a rock crab. This is Blue Journeys, the dive and activity center here on the island. So that was a glimpse of Blue Journeys, the diving and activity center. And we have here the director of recreation, uh, Mr. Rilwan. And let's hear from him uh, what are the different activities available here at the center. So what we do normally uh, or basically in here is uh, provide all the dive and activities experience to our guests who are staying with the park at Modisadha. 
Uh, majorly what we are specializing is basically diving. That's one of the main things people uh, come here to do. Uh, as well, on the other side, we do also provide traditional all the experiences that can provide it in the Maldives. Starting from the very basic fishing trips to big game fishing, uh, dolphin watching, snorkeling, uh, uh, picnic experiences, uh, local uh, uninhabited island visitings, um, and many more. Uh, also, uh, one of the biggest thing we have is in here, the guests have the opportunity to tailor made their experiences with us whenever it is feasible for them. I mean, uh, uh, also at the same time we are uh, very fortunate that we are located in a very beautiful area for diving actually uh, a lot of people actually talk about uh, how beautiful the diving areas that we have also at the same time our house reef is one of the best house reef that we have which is a 360 degree house reef where you have a lot of uh, 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 um, fish life that you can actually enjoy coral life is healthy as well around us um, uh, also, uh, when it comes to the boat diving, our dive sites are mostly famous for seeing a lot of uh, grave sharks, uh, turtles, eagle rays, a uh, lot of other things that you can see around in here. Uh, sometimes in one dive you may be able to see everything as well. Uh, also we have limited uh, water sports available with us, uh, very basics, uh, kayaking, uh, glass bottom kayak. Uh, stand up pedal boards. We do also have Ayaku, for an example, you know, uh, it's uh, one of the latest uh, uh, addition to our water sports activities. So, as you heard, there are loads of activities possible here on this island, and uh, I myself will be doing a, a snorkel today. Uh, it, it's going to be fun, and tomorrow as well, I'll be doing a sunset cruise uh, with the dolphin viewing. So, stay tuned. So guys, we are here now and this is Aslam, our uh, snorkeling instructor and we'll be do, doing a snorkel around this reef and uh, let's see what uh, fabulous uh, marine life uh, we catch on our way. So it's a pleasure to meet the general manager of this resort, Mr. Nick, who will give us an insight of this island and explain what is so unique and what is so good about this place. Good morning and thank you very, very much. Um, Park Hyatt Maldives is located on a brilliant little dot, an island called Hadaha. Um, Hadaha was uh, developed by a local family about 12 years ago. And the vision and ideology 
was very clear back then and we have maintained the very same credo going forward. Uh, the idea was to develop an island of uh, rather small size uh, to be really a heaven for those see uh, seeking a true Maldivian experience. Um, Hadaha has been left as authentic as it can possibly be. Um, the sand and the beaches are authentic, um, do change with the currents uh, that we have. Um, landscape has been maintained. Uh, very, very little landscape has been brought to the island that is not authentic. Um, the marine life is nothing short of absolutely world class and uh, it is a 360 degree full of life. In addition to this, uh, the symptomous service uh, provided by Park Hyatt is nothing short of exceptional. Um, we do deliver a barefoot service. Uh, barefoot experiences uh, and personalized experiences are quite unique in the Maldives. Uh, and this is what our guests do enjoy. We have fantastic food and beverage, mining and dining opportunities uh, for those to enjoy uh, varieties of international cuisines. From the freshest seafood to the best uh, and most organic meats that we can purchase. Uh, our little farm providing fresh herbs and crisp salads. Um, amazing, amazing dining experiences at Koi over water with sushi and sashimi and world-class cuisines uh, from really all different areas of that planet. Um, and uh, what we're incredibly proud of is our team. Uh, many team members uh, have been with us since the very early stages uh, of this property. Uh, 11, 12 years ago uh, have joined and have never left. And uh, this is really what sets our island quite apart from many others. It's the DNA and the culture. Hyatt culture is uh, worldwide renowned um, as being very caring, a family environment. And I think we have really been able to put this uh, not only to the test, but accelerate. So, well, I definitely endorse uh, what Mr. Nick is saying. It's been my experience the last two days. I still have two more days. Uh, today, I move on to the Overwater Villa. And I think the, the, the service has been uh, really phenomenal. Everything has been so good. Uh, you find the staff very, very friendly. Uh, the food is definitely amazing. And the ambience, the overall ambience of this property. So uh, a definitely recommended hideaway to, to set your next holiday plans. And uh, definitely recommend you to come here and enjoy your, your holiday with your family as, as couples. I'm sure it's going to be very good. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank and you. As you said, you can enjoy as a family and a couple. Um, the island provides incredible privacy um, and uh, no matter what occupancy you always feel a little bit like uh, it's your own a little dot in, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Nick. Thank, thank you. you. So guys, that sums up episode one. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it's giving you an insight of uh, my experience in this beach uh, pool villa and the activities that I have experienced in the last two days. I'll be shortly moving on to the overwater villa and that will be episode two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like, post your feedback and comments, subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get updates whenever I post my next vlog.